Welcome everyone to Tech in Texas. I know we have a lot of audience here today uh, uh, from Houston, from Dallas, from San Antonio, from Austin, and all over Texas. And they all have one question, you know, why Texas? It's a topic that is very close to our heart, but it'll be very uh, nice to hear that from you. We are uh, incredibly proud to be a part of that economic impact that, that we've been able to show. And really, when you think about, you know, Google, it, it becomes this front door for a lot of folks in terms of how they interact with uh, both the, the physical world as well as the digital world. And so Texas being such a growing and vibrant economy, it allows Google to really be a, a component of making sure that the people get the relevant information and get to businesses faster. And we've, we've uh, invested a lot in terms of trying to help do training so that people know how best to utilize Google tools. And really we're, we're looking at what are some of those vibrant growing businesses that, that Google can, can help to get their messaging out to consumers in the right way. And then when we think about the, the free advertising for, for nonprofits, you know, Google's part of core uh, mission is to, to try to help and be a helpful service to, to those around us. And so any nonprofit and, and knowing that there's a ton of amazing nonprofits that are based in Texas, you know, we love to, to, to work with them. Uh, go to our google.com slash nonprofits and, and get a chance to, to get those those ad grants so that they can make sure that the messaging gets to to the people that need it uh, when, when they're doing those searches on, on google.com. So very proud of the, uh, the impact we've been able to have in, in the state. Would say why not texas right we love texas <laughs> wide open spaces you know what i mean oracle's always been very iconic right we've, we've held our headquarters in silicon valley and we've got a lot of people in texas as we have in other states but texas seems to be a very good choice for us just because we have a good employee population in texas and we have Austin as our hub where we are graduating, or taking on a lot of new hubsters and new college grads and so on and so forth. So if you pick any state, I think Texas was a great choice, right? Um, so that's kind of how it landed. So Texas is, despite everybody's thinking that it's the cowboy country, you know, it, it's also a technology rich area. And um, there are citizens there that need to be served faster and better. There are pressures on a budget that can be impacted by reducing costs through RPA. And, you know, in the last 18 months, we've seen tremendous pressure reliefs because you've been able to bring automation to bear on immediate problems as a result of COVID. And what I think you'll find over the next two or three years are unemployment claims and benefits claims like food stamps and call centers and things like that are all going to be positively impacted by automation. And Texas just has that we're interested in learning mentality. And that's ex the exact reason we went there is you go to where people are willing to accept, you know, new automation and new ideas. First of all, Austin is just such a vibrant town and, and it has this rich technical history. Um, as well, it, it, it attracts the, the talent um, that we are after. We're, we're in a highly competitive field. Um, our, our hackers and responders can, can work just about anywhere. And there's a big draw to the city of Austin, uh, you know, whether it's the, the, the arts, the culture, the live music. Um, you know, I like to think Longhorn football games are a big draw, but uh, uh, the, the technology, the, 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 the technology, not only the companies that are here, but the bright individuals that are here, people, you know, smart people want to work with smart people. And, and what we found is Austin is an easy sell. And uh, uh, anything we can do to make our uh, 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 recruitment easier, we're all for. Uh, not to mention, there's just so many resources available from the state of Texas and, and, and so many things going on that it, it, it's a slam dunk. Dell being a, a homegrown Texas company, we've got a, a significant investment in the community, not only from a, an economic perspective and having our business there, and, and but also from a philanthropic perspective where we do a lot of work with uh, with uh, various causes. Um, certainly Michael being a, a Texan and their, the affinity we have for the state really kind of transcends the company at large. Um, personally, I'm, I'm from the Northeast, but anytime I'm down 
in Texas. It's just it's just a great opportunity to meet interesting people, see the amazing work that's going on there, and the the explosive growth that's happening. If you look at Austin, certainly, and that community, what's happening there. At this moment, we're a virtual company with COVID going on, but. Um... As we were ramping up our teams, some of my best talent has actually come out of Texas. And interestingly enough, before COVID, I used to be very focused on having engineering talent co-located. So most of my top engineering talent was all in California and the Bay Area. And when COVID hit, we almost accidentally found some really good candidates that we were like, okay, let's just hire this person because it doesn't matter. We're not in the office anyway. And it was brilliant. Like, incredibly positive experience with these developers. And so uh, geography doesn't matter right now. And there is an incredible talent pool in Texas that I think people have been missing out on if they have not been looking at.